Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some new episodes of Starfield. We're going to get back into the story now. Next mission is meet Vladimir. So I let's get into it. Do you need me for something? All right now, Lynn. No. Oh, heading over there. I'm really happy to see you. This is Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard? We're not even there yet. In between the last story mission and now. Gorgeous day, isn't it? I love this place. And quite a bit. We've explored, we've got some new crew members, we've built a new ship. The other one just wasn't doing it for me. And let's see if we can land on this thing. Slow down. Need something, Captain? Aha! Uh -huh. The eyes always open to constellation. The eyes open to you, constellation. How about we let us land? Good to see you again. Ah, there we go. Now we can land. I believe I haven't been here yet. And you didn't even scratch the paint. Oh, I did. Alright. Hi. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results you always do that multiple times oh, hey Vladimir we got a rook on deck good to see constellation getting some fresh blood Fitness. And here I thought I was the only one in Constellation who worked out. Nice arms. Yeah, go on then. Ah, gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Just don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. Dan? Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. The retired from the Crimson Flute. Usually doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? When you have a moment, I'd like to talk to you. 
Yeah, I'll speak to you in a minute, sir. I want to try and speak to Vladimir one more time. No? No. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> but I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. You're like you're ignoring your responsibilities. Not so much a message itself. Burns, are you upset that I keep you away from the lodge? You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just <laughs> here. Let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Mm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some more than others. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. Oh, nonsense. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority. But all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure the accounts are balanced. Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Matteo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Eh, don't worry about it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. Oh, uh, yeah. You have to understand. Once Arja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. I give a damn. Of course you do. I'm just not thinking straight right now. Phew, this has taken a lot out of me, so maybe we should just leave things right here. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Yeah, thanks for uh, a conversation, sir. I have been traveling with her for quite a while, so. This is how stuff. Do you require my assistance? Not at the moment, that's fine. Right? I'm gonna go do a mission. It's a gorgeous day in the space lanes. Hello. Ooh. Hey, so we're gonna go complete. find some more places to visit. There's one of them. Alceti two. Okay, we're going to Tal City too. Already been here. Oh, I've been here before. I have. Beginning 
schedule today? Not at the moment. Let's go. Uh, we're going to make sure all our guns are reloaded as we walk to our location. weapon to try out as well. Um this one. Nice, right, let's go. Or we get stuck. Landed a bit closer. Now we're just speeding up there. I'll get through that way. Grab it while we're here. Going down here. Have some more. Oh, we found artifacts, that was freaking easy. Okay, we're going to quickly mine up some stuff. It lets us. Annoying how some parts of it doesn't get mined. Other parts of it does. Pick up our uh, artifact. Now we got to blow it up first. been here before. We'll have to get out of the cave and we've been lost in there forever. Okay. I'll set e three, is it? Ooh. Always up for a ship combat mission. So we have to land. You took out the jump drive. Encounter 
was my kill, but oh well. Didn't do anything, but it takes some extra Guys, parts. We got to resume our patrol. Oh well. Lisa Jackal. Take everything. Always good to have a few extra parts. Yeah. On to the mission. Scan the planet. Yeah, this planet has quite a lot of resources. Argon. Water. Lumina. Iron. Pretty cool. Under the abandoned mine. Landing site locked. Take us in. Nice to see you. Ah, oh, hey, Captain. We we'll find our station friend. Argon there. Pick it up. It appears we found some type of mining operation. Yeah. Would appear so. Oh. There's no actual enemies here though. Might use that. There's a booby trap, that means there's enemies. Eat cage, another cave. If something's living in here, I doubt it wants us to intrude. Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. My name is Jinxie. You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Sometimes. Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Sounds good. He's following me now. Huh? Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Agreed. Always worth checking what everyone has in their pockets. Yeah, I'll take it, but I don't need it. Weapon case. Okay, let's do this. Uh, we kill about for a seconds. Print users. Yeah. Activate units. Yeah, have a robot ally now. Follow me. Please, it would be advisable to vacate this. Yeah. Please do not interfere with my tasks. All right. And once again, Down. we are triumphant. Go, robot. Watch him take them out. Ooh, painful. Anyone else? Come over there. Oh, 
Oh, I have so much ammo. Okay. Do I have any grenades? Um, they know I don't. Interesting. Grab a gun with zoom. Out of the way. Ooh, level 17. Oh. Not even seeing him come up here. Down there. Ah, I shoot you with my shotgun pistol. Some whiskey, which is always good. Let you take care of them, Sarah. Yes, it is. Okay. Two well, artifacts in a row. That's pretty good, that is. Alright. Grab a bit of the resources. Or not. Unknowns all never seem to work. And let's grab that. Actually, blow it up. Again. No. See if we can mine it out of there. not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? Not that I've been able to make any sense of them, but yeah. The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. Eh, uh, fine. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very 
practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Eh, I was a miner. Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. <laughs> Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the, the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? Yeah, totally. Mom's the word. Mom? This means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now. As they will be expecting us. Hey. Right. Um, we can't fast travel out of here, can we? Unlikely. So let's get out of here. Actually, no, we'll give it a try. Um, New Atlantis. Over to the lodge. Oh, okay, sweet. Hey, uh, can we skip the local chunks this time? Mm, never agrees with my stomach. Wasn't planning on having chunks anyway. I wonder if any discovery reports have come in while we were away. Who knows? Thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you, but it was not necessary. We succeeded. Okay, let's get it on. You are, thanks. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed they could be anywhere can't they embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader yep i catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes wondering what it all means maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time they didn't just gawk at the stars mateo they explored they tested Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? My success has allowed me a Yeah, I'd say science. I value I have neutrality neighbor. in a debate. Really? Uh, I guess your side forfeits. Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting rusty with your comebacks, Mateo. Playing it safe, eh? <laughs> I don't blame you. Getting mired in a debate with Mateo and Noel can be an all day affair. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. Someone likes me. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Oh, we didn't get to see it going or anything. 
Okay. Go speak to Vladimir then. And we can't seem to fast travel through the eye. That annoying. Go. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. Bigger one? All right. Let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. Okay. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Interesting. That anomaly is a damn sight bigger than a regular artifact. No tell. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up to date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Then we're hand and hand in agreement. Now get out there and burn some helium. Actually, I've got some surveys for you. You've tipped my ear. Only a few, but gives us a bit of credits. Show the words of Oh. oh, you're actually with me, with me. Oh. What did you need? Yes, of course. <laughs> I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, the present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare and precious i have done so in the past when necessary but i am not the best pilot and it seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful lately that means aiding you and that i think has worked out very well very flirtatious honestly i i cannot answer that so many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... It's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training. Though, I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. No worries. All right, then. We met Sarah on our... As our companion for quite a while, so welcome the change. Clamps released.
Okay, so where are we going now? Have we been here before? Oh, God. 